Hi, this is Michael. Um, I'm a student at Harvard and I interned for the Center for Sustainable Healthcare this past summer. And today I'll be talking about the principles and examples of sustainable healthcare in the UK. If the UK healthcare sector were a country, it would be the fifth largest greenhouse gas emitter in the entire planet. The National Health Service or the NHS in the UK accounts for 5.4% of the entire country's uh, total greenhouse gas emissions. So how do we begin to reduce our uh, impact on the environment? Well, there are four principles of sustainable healthcare, disease prevention and health promotion, patient education and empowerment, lean service delivery, and low carbon alternatives. This was developed by the Center for Sustainable Healthcare. We're trying to say that you should reduce unnecessary care as much as possible. And um, when you do provide care, be sure that you're providing care in the most environmentally friendly way possible. And this is uh, a tool that we have to help come up with real action items when it comes to clinical improvement and sustainability. Uh, here we have our outcome needed, which is to improve health and to reduce carbon emissions simultaneously. We have our dri primary drivers, and then we have our secondary drivers, which happen to be some of the principles that we just talked about in the last slide. Yeah, so this slide is just uh, a concrete example of how to apply this in a real life setting. For example, to mental health care, I want you to notice the uh, green boxes that are just popping up now. So these are like real things that you can do to both uh, increase the quality of clinical care as well as to reduce the environmental impact. So what's happening on the ground? Well, the uh, NHS has promised to become net zero by 2040. It's the largest healthcare system to do so. I mean, it's currently in the early stages of trying to actualize that. And there are also a lot of grassroots organizations made up of mostly clinicians who are really interested in doing something about climate change. For example, you have Health Declares, Doctors for Extinction Rebellion, Green Health Wales, and the UK Health Alliance on Climate Change. Uh, furthermore, there are a lot of hospitals in the UK that have green teams or dedicated sustainability managers, and their role is just to find ways to improve sustainability within a clinical setting. So we have two examples here, a Scottish Environmental Anesthesia Group and the Anesthesia Department at East Lancashire Hospitals. Finally, the academic health science networks uh, at a larger scale are holding talks to improve sustainability within health and science innovation in the UK. So the bigger picture is that healthcare has a, uh, has a significant role to play in averting the worst of the climate crisis and that we must lead by example since we set a moral prerogative and we should carry out do no harm to the planet as well. So future possibilities include integrating planetary health to the curriculum of all medical schools. So far, I don't, none of them have like a really dedicated permanent module on it. We want to actualize the NHS net zero plan and we want to implement clinical sustainability measures everywhere. So that includes wherever you're from, this is a worldwide effort. Thank you. If you have any questions, please email me at this email and I'd be happy to talk further.